Let's study 9th Standard ICSC Biology, Chapter 19, Waste Generation and Management. What is waste? No, this chapter is not waste. Waste is any substance which is discarded after primary use or it is worthless, defective and of no use. Please check if you satisfy any of these criteria. Now, categories of waste. Domestic waste, which is given out from homes. It includes kitchen waste, plastics, glass, rags, paper, etc. Some of these are biodegradable. Some are not biodegradable. Next type of waste is industrial waste. They can be from mining operations. Huge quantities of waste are produced while processing the ores. Such wastes are usually called mine tailing or mine leftover, which is a waste. How to deal with them? One way is mix it with other materials and use it to make tiles. So reduce, reuse and recycle is a very important mantra for reducing waste. Cement industries, well, they also create a lot of waste in solid liquid gaseous form. One of the uh, gaseous wastes produced is fly ash. Fly ash is ash which flies. It can be used for making a variety of building materials like bricks, etc. So we can reuse this waste. Oil refineries, even they produce a lot of waste when they refine the crude oil, the raw oil. A lot of waste is produced which causes pollution. Construction units also produce a lot of waste which is ultimately dumped in landfills on the outskirts of the city. Next type of waste is agricultural waste. Any waste in the process of farming or raising livestock, that is animals, is called agricultural waste. We, we may have agricultural residues, that is after we remove the, the seeds or the crops, cereals, grains, etc. Then the plant parts which are left over, which are which are still useful, are called agricultural residues. They are useful because we can convert them into a compost or we can use it as animal feed. For example, bagasse. It is a plant residue. For example, after the sugar cane has been crushed and all the juice has been extracted, whatever is left over is called bagasse, which can be used as firewood or in paper industry. Pesticides and fertilizers, which are chemicals used by farmers, they are harmful for the soil and it may even pollute the nearby river and pond as they get washed away into that. Animal wastes include cow dung, bullshit, etc. But we can use manure from it. It can also be used for uh, exterior and interior decoration of houses. We can have uh, cakes of cow dung stuck to the walls of houses, which is a type of modern art. Next type is municipal waste. Municipal waste comes from cities and towns. It includes the household discharge of excreta, that is fecal matter and kitchen washings. So there are drains, large drains from each and every flat or house and that is municipal waste. Also the discharge from public toilets, hospitals, etc. All of this together is called sewage, which has two parts, biodegradable and non-biodegradable. In villages where the drainage system is not developed, there might be septic tanks. These are underground tanks where all the uh, household waste goes to. So they get buried deep inside the earth. It may get composted out there, the fecal matter. And it can be used as natural manure. That is a natural fertilizer for agriculture. But it's very important that before any waste is disposed of, it should be segregated into degradable and non-degradable portion. Because if they are mixed, then even the degradable part will be of no use anymore because it will have the toxic non-degradable things like plastic etc. So if we segregate them, then the degradable part can be decomposed to give you compost, manure etc. Or they are just decayed and mixed with the soil which is okay. And the non-degradable pa part can be put in the incinerator to burn it or they can be put in the landfill and one more thing we can do with this is we can reduce, we can reuse or recycle them. If you see metal parts or plastic which is recyclable, then we can recycle it. Next type of waste is e-waste. This person had a hobby of buying the latest version of phones. So right from when the iPhone was launched, he kept buying the latest version of 
um, iPhones and Samsung versions 1, 2, till 10, 20. And in the end, he realized that he had a lot of e-waste. So we should not be like that. On the other hand, this crap dealer is burning electronic waste, which is so stupid. He was trying to invent a new type of uh, arson. It's called fire arson, which he feels cures constipation. But it turned out to be a fallacy. So we should not burn electronic waste because it may have harmful substances like lead, cadmium and mercury. Or it may have some valuable substances, although in very small quantities, like gold, silver, copper. So what we should do is all the electronic waste, all, all the electronic items should be dumped in e-bins. There should be special e-bins and you should dump it in it so that they can be re reused or recycled its spare parts it can be removed and used or at least it can be disposed properly it may have some radioactive substances which can cause cancers so that's why e-bins are necessary next methods of safe disposal of wastes it's very important to safely dispose of wastes otherwise it can be hazardous for example, uh, a few years ago in Delhi, a radioactive cobalt-60 was disposed carelessly from a research lab. It somehow reached a waste dealer, a scrap dealer. And of course, they won't have knowledge about radioactive substances. So people got injured because of this. For example, this uncle, his legs got burned because of the cobalt-60. Uh, no, he's not trying to show off his new Nike shoes. So one process, the first process should be segregation. Segregate it into three types. The waste should be reusable. If paper, etc. can be reused, please reuse it. If it is biodegradable, then segregate it into a different bin. And if it's non-biodegradable, then into another bin. Because the biodegradable can be converted into green manure. Where we will use all the plant wastes. And the non-biodegradable will have to be recycled or just dumped into the sanitary landfills. That brings us to the next step, dumping, which I just explained. Composting. As I said, the biodegradable waste should be composted. It means putting the waste organic matter, which can be animal man manure or the green manure. Animal will have animal fecal matter and the green manure means vegetable peels, fruit skins, etc so that it can be used for fertilizing the agricultural land so compost is just more processed manure next drainage a proper system of drains is very important so that the wastes are properly disposed treatment of effluents before discharge effluent is the sewage released into the water bodies so whatever sewage is released by households and by offices if it is dumped into the water bodies we call them effluents so the effluents have to be treated before dumping them we can't just release it into the water as it is otherwise that will cause water pollution which will be harmful not only to the aquatic life but indirectly it will harm us in the end so the steps to treat the effluents before discharge are number one primary treatment so the municipality make, take, makes sure that there is a primary treatment, there is a large, the separation of large debris by sedimentation in tanks. Sedimentation means a large quantity of water is kept still in a huge tank. So at least the heavy particles will just settle down, which can be removed from it. Next we have secondary treatment. So the remaining wastewater is decanted into an oxidation pond. It is pumped into an oxidation pond where microorganisms will oxidize all the organic matter. So they will release carbon dioxide and a solid precipitate is formed which is called sludge. This sludge is useful because it can be used as an animal manure because it is made from the fecal matter in the effluents. And finally we have tertiary treatment. It involves removal of all the dissolved chemicals, metals and even pathogens that is harmful disease causing germs. It may involve uh, treating with some chemicals like chlorine, etc. to kill the germs. After this, then the water is useful to be discharged uh, and then the water can be discharged into natural waters or it can be used for irrigation. Next method of disposing of, of waste is incineration, that is just burning them. There is only one disadvantage, it releases fumes and harmful substances, so it can cause air pollution. So the following precautions should be carried out. It should be carried out at a very high temperatures. 
because incomplete combustion can release carbon monoxide which is very poisonous it should be equipped with pollution control devices which will reduce the amount of smoke coming out and they should be installed away from residential areas so that people are not affected by the smoke the advantages of this method is that the ash which is left over occupies much less landfill space also some the residual bottom ash can be used for recovery of some metals in it some metals may be left over after all the waste has burned so we can recover that and one more advantage is that when you burn it it produces a lot of heat it's an exothermic reaction whenever you burn any uh, thing and this heat can be used to produce electricity next the two machines which will help to reduce the amount of pollution scrubbers and electrostatic precipitators in a scrubber you can see that dirty air enters from the bottom it has smoke particles and some gaseous pollutants like SO2 etc they have to pass through this packing and water is sprayed here this water will trap all the particles of dust of, of carbon soot and even SO2 NO2 gases so clean air will escape whereas all the particulate matter and all is trapped in this water on the other hand if the pollution is primarily of the form of smoke then we will use electrostatic precipitators here we have charged plates positive and negative charges which will trap all the carbon particles or soot particles coming from the dirty air and then clean gas goes out the difference here is that it does not trap any gases like SO2 etc hi students this is AJ sir if you like this video press the like button if you would like to enroll for my online test series or online lectures, email me or message me on Instagram. Check the description for more information.